At the bottom of the sea, there exist veins of zinc, iron, silver, and gold, whose mining would quite certainly be feasible, Captain Nemo says in Jules Verne's novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. About 140 years after the French writer took his readers on an adventurous diving trip, his vision is about to become reality. Black smokers on the sea floor bring up valuable raw materials from inside the earth. Their meter-high vents seem to give off clouds of smoke like underwater industrial chimneys. Marine geologists from GEOMAR, Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research Kiel, examined those vents and took samples back to their laboratories. They aim to find out which chemical elements make up the rocks. Thus, they can draw conclusions on the formation and evolution of the black smokers. These vents are not only interesting for research purposes, but also for the industry. This is due to the chemical reactions taking place when seawater is heated up by magma chambers. Hydrothermal vents occur on the boundary of the tectonic plates all over the world. Here, seawater flows into the ocean floor through cracks. At a depth of two to three kilometers, this water is heated up and then rises to the surface under great pressure. On the way up, the pH and the oxygen content of the water decrease. The resulting aggressive and up to 400 degrees Celsius hot fluid leaches out various elements from the surrounding rock. When coming in contact with the cold seawater, minute particles are formed, causing the escaping water to look like smoke. In the vicinity, substances are deposited and vents are formed. A GEOMAR expedition to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The scientists would like to examine more of the especially active vents. The autonomous underwater vehicle Abyss assists the scientists in their search for new hydrothermal vents. It scans the sea floor to a depth of up to 6,000 meters. Based on the data generated with Abyss's sonar and echo sounder, highly precise maps are created. Based on the maps, the scientists decide where the remotely operated vehicle Roth Kiel 6000 should be launched. Finally, the moment has arrived. Roth Kiel 6000 descends to a hydrothermal field on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Its journey into the depths takes hours. The cameras of the robots provide video pictures in real time. The Black Smoker Sisters Peak is located in the hydrothermal field Comfortless Cove in almost three kilometers water depth. Hot fluid at more than 400 degrees Celsius spouts from the 12 meter high double spires. They are the hottest places known by scientists. Late at night, Roth Kiel 6000 comes back from its dive. Finally, the scientists can touch with their hands what they've only seen on the monitors before. But more precise information about the samples can only be obtained by analyzing thin sections of the samples in the laboratory. Which elements a sample contains is determined with the help of an electron probe microanalyzer. The results are also interesting economically, as precious metals are in high demand, as are trace elements for use in such products as LED lights, mobile phone displays or fiber active cable. Kupfer, zinc, blei, Copper, silver, zinc, gold, lead, silver and gold are the elements of interest for the mining industry. In addition to that, a number of trace elements, such as indium, gallium or germanium, are very popular in the technical industry. The run on the treasures of the sea has already started, although the equipment needed for mining is not yet sufficiently developed to allow exploitation to begin. 
Due to their high exit temperatures, mining of the hot vents will be very challenging. They can reach up to 400 degrees Celsius. It is easy to imagine the effect the hot and chemically aggressive fluids could have on the drill pipes. To limit the effects on their equipment, the mining industry will concentrate on inactive vent areas. The advantage of this is that the rich fauna around the hot springs is hardly affected by the mining activities. The hot springs are mainly inhabited by endemic species, species that only exist at hot springs, which need special protection. Tube worms, shrimps, crabs, mussels and snails live around the black smokers. The number of organisms living in those oases of the deep sea is 200 to 300 times higher than in the more distant surroundings. The organisms live in complete darkness, under the high pressure of the deep sea and close to places where hot and toxic substances are discharged. How is life even possible in such an hostile environment? Just like plants do photosynthesis using sunlight, here specialized bacteria do chemosynthesis. They convert sulfur and hydrogen into energy. Shrimps and other organisms feed on those bacteria. These lead to the development of specialized food chains around the hydrothermal vents. Some scientists even suggest that this process answers the question of how life emerged on Earth. The first creatures must have lived on chemical components such as methane, hydrogen sulfide or normal hydrogen. Oxygen became available later in the history of the Earth. Whether the ecosystems we observe at hydrothermal vents today are directly descended from such primordial systems has yet to be proved. However, there is some evidence that this is not the case, but that they derived from shallow water organisms. Despite this, it is a fact that the hydrothermal vents at the ocean floor developed early during the history of the Earth, and therefore the origin of life could have been here. Biologists, geologists and chemists work together closely when it comes to investigating the black smokers. Thanks to the collaboration, they're starting to understand the complex system at the bottom of the sea. For sure, there's still a lot to discover in the depths of the oceans, and maybe the discoveries yet to be made can one day help to supply the world's population with raw materials. Mm -hmm.